up guys welcome back to another video and uh, guess what looks a little different today huh because I'm shooting on the iPhone X the entire vlog say hi to station hi the entire vlog is gonna be shot on this camera today all the b-roll time lapses slow-mo you name it it's gonna be done on this phone so I gotta get used to it I gotta look at the camera and this lens and not the screen so uh, so yeah let's we're just gonna walk around the city and try to get some cool shots as you can see, I got my Runa, so I got a little energy on the way. This is some of my favorite stuff, guys. If you haven't tried this yet, go check it out. So I'm using the front-facing camera right now, and I'm shooting the entire video 4K 60. So far, it's pretty good. I like that it's just quick and easy. Pull out of my pocket, and you're good to go. But let's see uh, what we can really do with this thing and how far we can push it. Hey, yo, you better flee, hops. Stacia also has her iPhone X, so she'll be getting in on some of the action today. Yes. iPhone videographer extraordinaire. So right now we're walking around Rittenhouse Square, and it's just like a beautiful, quiet day. It's like 50 degrees out. Sun's trying to peek through the clouds, so we're getting a little bit of light. So far, it's pretty good. I like that yeah. it's just like quick, easy, pull out your pocket, you're good to go. I don't know about the, the stabilization, so we're gonna have to see how that is, especially like on the front-facing camera. I feel like it's definitely not as good. Okay, what are your thoughts so far on it? I think it's gonna be really shaky. I think the audio is gonna be like a little bit weird. Yeah, that's the one thing I'm concerned about is the audio. So l let me know in the comments what you think about the audio. Plus, the way I'm holding it, my palm is kind of covering oh. those speakers. But right now, we're just like walking around the city. We're on Walnut Street right now. We're gonna walk, you wanna go to like Washington Park? Washington Square Park. Yeah. And then I think we're gonna go maybe walk to Old City and then probably get some food or something. Lunch. Yeah. We're a cheese steak. We haven't had a cheese steak in a while. I'm not eating a cheese steak. Why? Because uh, I'm trying to get caught, dude. Just <laughs> trying to get caught, bro. <laughs> so I'm going to use the slider with the Jovi attachment with the tripod head. Huh? And I'm going to try to get a nice okay, sliding shot down that. the side wall. It is definitely much more shaky. Yeah. You can see the bumps like crazy, which is weird because the, the stabilization, I don't know how the stabilization is on the 4K versus 1080. True. So 1080 might have better optical stabilization. We'll have to see. All right, we out here at the Wawa. This is, this is like the busiest intersection in all of Philly, I think. Yeah. I'm trying to get this time lapse for you right here. One thing many people aren't aware of is obviously we have our tap to focus so you just tap the screen anywhere and that'll focus in on the subject that you're looking at but there's also tap and hold and that will actually auto focus hold that spot so then we can zoom all the way in to like two three four times and the foreground and background will be blurry but that one section that we tapped and held our focus on is now going to be nice and sharp so as you can see right here we have the foreground all blurred out but right here we've autofocus locked and it's a nice sharp image. So what I do find quite annoying when shooting video on the phone is with a vlogging camera, I can easily you know, point it 
and turn it back at me. I, so I can show you what I'm talking about and I can flip it back around and talk to the camera. With this, you can't hit the little button to flip while you're shooting. The only option that it gives you is to, up in this top corner here, I can press the button to take a photo while I'm shooting. So that's a cool feature, but I wanna be able to, in the middle of this talk, I wanna be able to just press the button, flip the camera to the other side so you can see what I'm talking about. So that's a little bit of a downside. But anyway, what I was saying was, so this park right here behind me, this is the Independence Park or something like that. And we flew the hover cam, we had it like follow us around and the cops and, and security freaking followed us and they're like, you gotta take it down. You're not allowed to fly drones here. I'm like, it's not a drone, man. I mean, it's just a tiny little toy following us around. If you haven't watched that video though, it's really cool. I'll leave a link right up here, go check it out. Also, pop culture fact, if anyone's interested in, uh -oh. this is the building right here, 500 Walnut, that is speculated that Jay-Z and Beyonce have a contract. Whoa, Jay-Z and Beyonce in the hizzle. So they live here? They have a place here? Well, oh, this place is dope. Yeah, this place is dope. Look at this building, it's so sick. Only the best for Jigga. Jigga, Jigga, what? Another pitfall that I just realized, I checked my battery percentage and I'm at 38% right now. It's so, 3 p.m. Yeah, too. it's 3 p.m. I, I normally have like at least 60, 70% right now. So the battery depleted very fast shooting at 4K. So just be aware of that. Also, the other thing, I haven't looked at the file sizes yet, but obviously shooting at 4K, 60 frames a second, you're gonna have some like major file sizes. Yeah. So just be sure that if you have a device that has lower storage, just be careful uh, that you don't run out of space. We just made it to Old City. We're gonna go check out some spots to go uh, get some lunch and uh, we'll see you guys there. Okay, lunch was lunch was all right. It wasn't great. I liked it. Their brunch is way better than their lunch, I would have to say. Uh, so it's getting dark, sun's going down right now, and we are on our way back to the house just to chill for the night. And once we get back, we'll do like a quick little overview of what we think about using the iPhone for something like this, for vlogging and trying to get cinematics and stuff like that. So uh, we'll see when we get home. Yo, okay, so we're back. It's like two days later. I'm just finishing up the edit. And from what I've seen in the footage, is the iPhone 10 a good phone to vlog with? I don't know, it's kind of a toss up. Like they say, you know, whatever you have on you is the best camera. So if that's all you have, then by all means, it's better to use that than not make any content at all. But if you have a choice between using a DSLR or a point and shoot camera and the iPhone, I would say go with the point and shoot camera uh, or your DSLR because you're not gonna get the stability that you really need. Like I'm finding that almost every one of these shots is completely unstable. And even when I'm stabilizing them in post-production, it's still not that great looking like it would be with an, an OSS lens or an in-body stabilized camera. So it really does hinder your ability to make smooth video. So if you're gonna use the phone, I would suggest getting something like uh, like the Smooth Q gimbal or the Osmo by DJI um, for mobile phones. And that way you'll be able to get nice smooth footage with whatever you're shooting on. Audio was another thing that suffered a bit uh, one of the problems was the way that I was holding it so I think my hand was like I was I was using the pop socket which is awesome and I think my hand when I was using it I was holding it out like this and I think I was covering up the mic because the mic is here on the bottom of the phone uh, but there's also one in the front and the back so I'm not really sure why it sounded very muffled but there was a few times where I was talking and my hand seemed to be covering up and muffling the mic uh, which made the audio suffer shooting in 4k 60 for the whole entire time and the footage looked really good everything that I, that I was editing right here looked really crisp and clean the colors are really nice and vibrant um, I don't normally shoot in 4k and uh, and I would say the biggest downside to that on the iPhone 10 was the battery life suffered like horribly I mean I barely got through two hours of shooting without my battery hitting like 20 percent uh, and if I kept shooting my battery would have died completely so if you're planning to shoot a lot of footage at 4k I would suggest getting a backup like battery charger or something like that for your phone so the, really there's not much else to discuss I mean the audio eh, it's it, it is what it is it's cell phone audio uh, the footage that it takes in 4k is beautiful the slow motion is beautiful other than that really the one thing that I liked about it that was like a big upside is it's small and compact and it's always in your pocket and I can easily just pull it out and 
start recording. That was like such a great thing. Cause with my other equipment, I got stuff hanging on me. I got clips, I got big DSLRs. Even with my point and shoot, it doesn't fit in my pocket. So I have to end up like, you know, putting it on a clip or putting it in a holster or just carrying it in my hand. Uh, so with the phone, it's a big advantage that you have it in your pocket at all times. So to sum things up, can you vlog on the iPhone 10? Of course you can. Remember the best camera that you have is the one that you have on you. Is it stable? Eh, it's okay. Is the audio good? Eh, the audio is okay. Uh, is it better than a point and shoot? And is it better than a DSLR? Of course not. The quality that you can get from a stabilized lens and stabilized bodies is way better than something like this. But if you have the right tools and you can go out and get this stable shots using a gimbal or something like that, highly suggest it. And you'll be able to, you know, supplement the iPhone shots in with your other footage and really make a good quality video. So that's about it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've been wanting to do a quick little vlogging video about the iPhone 10 since I purchased it and I finally had the chance to do it and share it with you guys. So if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up on your way out and we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.